The princess washes her face with pearls first thing when she wakes up. Not just any pearls, but big, round, colorful pearls. After washing, her skin is smooth and moisturized. This is a peaceful race of fallacious stars. They make their living by harvesting large quantities of pearls. The more pearls they had, the stronger their planet became. At this moment, the queen walked slowly out of the palace. As the crowd watched, she reached above the pearls. She had to pick out the most powerful pearl among them all. And soon she found it. It was a large, round, heavenly pearl. Then she gave it to her deputy. The deputy took the pearl to the forbidden place of the race. The princess had been waiting here for a long time. She took the pearl from him. She put it into the mouth of the beast. After benefiting from it, the beast began to twist and turn. Countless pieces of the pearl were transformed by it. They all fell into the pool of water in the forbidden area. The energy quickly spread throughout the planet. The princess was enjoying the tranquility of this moment. But there was a sudden noise in the sky. The princess was puzzled, but the next scene made her realize what was happening. It was an enemy attack! The sound of crashing was heard in every corner of the planet. The king watched in shock. This peace-loving race of fallacies has come under enemy attack. The wreckage of a massive battleship crashed through the sky into the distance. The king gave the order to evacuate his people in an orderly fashion. By now, the terrified princess was running as fast as she could. She wanted to join her father before the planet was destroyed. The tunicates, forgotten by the princess, shivered and curled up. When the princess reached the center of the castle, it was empty. She called out to her father, but the only response was a distant crash. And the king and his people now saw a desperate sight. A much larger warship crashed into the far side of the island. The shaking of the ground prompted the king to quickly get his people into the wreckage. They huddled together in solidarity. Some of them rushed to close the hatch, but just as the hatch closed, the handle broke, and the princess came running. The queen called out for her daughter. The princess begged her father to open the hatch and let her in, but from the look on her father's face, she understood everything. All she could do now was say her last goodbye. The queen and her people watched in despair. Soon a shockwave hit in the distance. The princess could only say her final greetings to her father in silence. 